Yo, what is up, guys? Today we are doing another uh, tournament journal vlog. <laughs> another tournament journal vlog, yes. So, this tournament journal vlog is for Silverhorn because we all know that um, Silverhorn was the next tournament camp. Bro, that's so dumb. That's so st you're so stupid. Anyway, enough with the water. So. First things first here. The distance was back at um what was it? It was it was like sixty three hundred. And um so I did shoot eighty one and um the winner shot seventy five, which was Nathan. So Let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking of like easy mistakes that I like, like could have erased. Cause that could have easily been like a seventies round. I mean, even 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 Sarah's beat me. Cause my and she was like bugging me all night because I took her to this Spurs game, and. She was like, she was like, well, she didn't really, she was, she was modest and humble about it, so that was, that was good, but still, I could have easily, I had three penalty strokes, <laughs> I had three penalty strokes, and I at least, I had at least two or three doubles, let's see, I have a card here, how many doubles did I have, people? Um, it's not double, it's not double. There's one double, two doubles. So I only had two doubles, which was on 11 and 14. Two par fours. 11 got double. I hooked it left in the trees and. So that made me drop out of the trees, and then I punched out from, because I was still under a branch, so I couldn't go out to the green. So I punched out into the right side of the fairway, and then I uh, I chipped over the bunker, because this pin was in, like, the front right, maybe? And, yeah, I was in the front right, and I didn't get up and down, so that gave me a six. Let's see, 14, 12 par, long par 4 with the two creeks, that's a really, really stupid all. Um, 13 with the par 3, I thought I got par on that hole, what the heck? Hmm... Fourteen. What the heck? I am so sorry, people. I confused. Yeah, four thirteen has the two creeks. I know. Or no, twelve has the two creeks. Cause you start on ten. I'm. I'm. Not, I know. It's doing so bad. Did I miss it left again, to be honest? I think I... Because 12... 10? Okay, <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, I got double. It was... It was something stupid. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But, um, it was a dumb mistake, probably. Because almost everything above a par includes one... Dumb mistake. If you get a double, it's two. You get triple and so on. So, um, yeah, I did do a little more uh, repositioning of things because before I was like over here and everything was facing that way. And I don't know, it just feels better to me, especially with my chair when I'm sitting down. So, can't see my chair really anymore. Um, but yeah, I just think it 
looks better and it feels more comfortable to me. So yes, I did get two doubles, so that automatically takes four strokes off the uh, the score. So um, that was eighty one. It's seventy seven now, and that's starting to get close to first place. First place was 75, so taking two doubles on par f fours, that was, that's our, uh, automatically, just, just could have got pars, and there, there was some holes that did, kind of, there might have been one or two holes that were, like, okay bogey holes, like, holes that, and I know you, some people are saying, well, a bogey hole is a bogey hole. Bogeys are bad. But some of these holes were kind of long. So I'd say maybe one hole. One or two holes. They would have been bogey holes that you wouldn't have been too mad about. That you don't have to get enraged about. Because they weren't extremely stupid mistakes. Because you're not going to get... When you hit five irons into a green on a par four, you're not going to, uh, and if you do hit the green and two putt, great, but the time, and, uh, but the times you miss the green, and I'm not saying that I do have a five iron into the green every time, I just might have it four to six times during the round, because it's into the win, and as you guys know, Silverhorn is always soaking wet. And it just happens to rain the night before, yippee. So, the course was named, um, whole course was covered in casual water. So that was the course's name for that day. And if it does look a little dark, it is nighttime outside. Because I was busy during the day, so forgive me if the lighting is a little off. So, like, pure lighting I have is, uh, the light on my fan. But, besides from that, um, I only got up and down. See, I did not get up and down at all on the front. Jeez. Um, got up and down two. It's, it's like, I got up and down, like, 25%. But you can say, because, not really... All the up and downs were like chips within 50 yards of the green. You weren't because of missed greens, they were because of hitting it into a hazard or so. And then statistics kind of takes that as getting up and down because you get your tee shot on a par four, you get your tee shot in the water. And then you're hitting three, and then you're 190 away, and then you're like, you have to get up and down. So really. Really, I didn't really get to have that many chances of showing my chipping skills that day. It's, uh, it's Monday night. Yeah, Monday night. That was yesterday. But um, I didn't have that much chance to show my chipping skills, so I didn't really get to see a real chipping, chipping up and down percentage. So my dad, sometimes my dad is like, hey, you need to work on your chipping. Look at this percent. I'm like... That, like, a lot of these were, like, hazards, so not actual chipping, chipping percentages. So I actually, I'm actually interested to see if I do get a round that, um, I keep looking over there for some reason. I'm actually interested in seeing, um, me actually play a tournament round and seeing, um, my actual chipping percentage, um... Mm, what else? I couldn't... That course, I just can't hit driver. Because... I mean, if you're like my buddy Shiv... <laughs> he's not here, but... If, he's, if you're like my buddy Shiv, he... He hits bullets. They're low, they're straight, and they just... Don't move at all. And that was a good course for him. He's still playing 11 to 12, but... 
that's fine for him, I guess, but I'm not going to judge him off of that, and I'm not going to start going launch and do a whole story about Shiv, but um, for me, i got to play my game, because I'm hitting it farther now, and <clears throat> I'm swinging a lot faster, and the, when I miss, it, it goes off the planet. So, um, uh, on th that kind of course, because I'm so... I think it's because I'm so used to, like, playing Republic, man, where, like, there's not that many trees, the dog legs are, fairways are, and almost all the fairways are, like, 60 yards wide, 70 yards wide, and then I go, and I'm like, okay, and I play driver off of, like, every tee at Republic, and then I go to, like, Silverhorn, where I just played, and I like pick out the driver and I start hitting in the water and in the trees. So that's really a course because my dad was like going over in the car, like, and he's like, on uh, number 10, he's like, How far is number 10 to par 5? And I'm like, It's 489. And he's like, Divide that by 3. And it was 489 by 3. 1. I don't know, but it it was it's like one ninety maybe, somewhere in there. But he's like, it's like five hundred or four hybrid for me, and he's like, you could have hit like three of those instead of hitting driver, and getting. Bogey I didn't get any doubles on the par five, so that's, I just got bogeys, but, I could have easily like hit three seven irons or something and probably would have had a better chance of probably would have had a better chance of getting par because because you don't miss seven irons that badly because you're really it's a seven iron and you ain't swinging that fast so um that's just kind of basic par five logic and i no heat knows, and I know that nobody plays par fives that way. But it's a perfect example of how easy it really is, especially on a course like Silverhorn, where you kind of have to do that. And and I did have I did have a lot of holes at Silverhorn where I did hit driver, and I did have, end up hitting in the trees, and a couple of them I did save, but I could easily hit like. Three hybrid off the tee, and I probably would have had a lot longer clubs coming in, but I would have hit so much more fairways, and probably would have got a lot more pars and a lot less bogeys than I did. Maybe, maybe a, uh, whoa, and maybe a couple, couple more birdies. So that was pretty much from around. I mean, they're not gonna. I don't know why. I need to find out. If it's a holiday, or they're doing a break or something, but. SDPJ is not having um, a tournament on February 10th because right now all the tournaments are on Sunday. So they're not having a tournament on February 10th. And I don't know what is on February 10th. I'm going to have to look it up. But um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the week after that, which is that's February 17th. And that's going to be at... Uh, Santerra, Santerra North. So that's not that's gonna be another interesting course to play, especially with the distance, cause the course is the greens. All the greens are raised, and most of the time the greens are in good condition. I don't know if they. Oh, I haven't been there in a while. I don't know if they overseeded it for the winter, but um, if you, the fairway, it's not a super tight course, but like with the bunkers. The bunk, the course layout with the bunkers. There's not that many trees on the course, but with the bunkers and how the fairway slopes, and especially with the upraised greens surrounded by bunkers, <laughs> that that's the only challenge about that course. So you want to be in the right position to hit on the green, so you can stop the ball, and not having three high three wood and so an upraised green and rolling it off the bag. So. That's pretty much what's going on with me. Um, trying to think of any more news before I like press the stop recording video. Um, 
yeah, so I did get second place next tournament at Sonterra. Next tournament after that is uh, Landa Park. So that's going to be another... It's another position course, kind of like Silverhorn. But you take Silverhorn and, like, delete all the trees and stuff. Because you could, like, hit into the other fairway. But it's still a position course if you still want to be... You still want to be in the fairway because... I'm not wearing my necklace anymore because it did break, so I'm good, probably going to have to get a new necklace. But, um, yeah, I am wearing this shirt for Sarah's This Is Your Color, so um, if you like this video, leave a like and a comment down below, and subscribe to Matt Poly Golf, and, yeah, right there, subscribe to Matt Poly Golf, and click the notifications bell so you uh, get a notifications, <laughs> and then get a notification when my video drops, so you don't you don't go on my channel, so that does not, so when you go on my channel, you're not like, oh my gosh, there's 20 videos to watch, so yeah, that does not happen, so uh, that's pretty much it, speaker says bye.